Hey friend, time for your weekly one-on-one. -on -one. So let's talk about skill trees and how they pertain to your actual career and development, not just video games. So I actually use skill trees all the time. You can see how I've used them for content creation over here, but I wanna give you a very clear example on how to do this. I wanna give you a really easy methodology to approach building your own skill tree because life's made up of different experiences. Within the workplace, there's normally two main categories you focus on, your technical depth or breadth, as well as your leadership, whether it's over people or projects. Now the hidden skill that I think is really important is overall work-life integration and finding ways to navigate those three skills. Now if we become impatient with our growth and personal development, we can start to build up only off of one tree, only focus on the technical, only focus on the leadership. And what we find with something like that is it will always fall down. So if you're in too much of a hurry to grow and develop and produce, you're really unbalanced. What I would like to do is have experiences build on one another little by little and really celebrate the overlap, that it's not just stacking greens on top of greens or blues on top of blues, but different projects that we work on with different challenges allow us to really stretch and have overlap between the way that we integrate aspects of who we are and what we do from that sense of being, as well as our technical depth, our breath, our ability to connect with people and inspire and lead them, as well as our ability to manage complex problems and challenges and people. So overall, things develop little by little. And you can see this in my personal life. I have multiple skill trees set up for different aspects of content creation, and I jump between them based on interest, and a lot of them touch and overlap. It's just an easy way for me to kind of lay them out linearly, but I'm not actually progressing them linearly. I float across them little by little. So hopefully that's an encouragement to you. You could draft this on paper. You can do this in Visio or on a PowerPoint. I mean, heck, you can even like write experiences on a post-it note, put them on your own magnetiles, and stack them however you want. But it's really important for you to have a skill tree in mind so you know where you're going. And the skills you develop are either going to provide value to the business in your immediate workplace or build skills towards future roles and future opportunities that you're interested in, whether it's in your current place of employment or external, which is another one-on-one. -on -one. Anyway, see you around, friend.